Namaste. Uh, welcome, Mr. Bassert. Um, talking to you today about not uh, prisms and cylinders, but these are volumes of one base solids. So these are solids that only have, have one base and not two. And so as a result, uh, you may consider these especially the most un, unadvanced or, you know, not, not, uh, not as mathematically sophisticated. You might refer to these as the pointy shapes. So pyramids and cones. They don't go up to another congruent base, which the two base shapes do. They go up to a point. And as a result, if we take a look at some of these things, right, we've got, well, that's kind of ugly, but we've got a base shape here of a square or a rectangle, and then we've got sides that go up. If I took my prism, which was a rectangle, all right, well, oh, that's really bad. Let's get rid of all that. I don't like any of that. All right, let's try this one. If I have my rectangular prism, right, um, the rectangular prism had two congruent bases and a solid in between. The pyramid has one base, right, if you look at the, the prism, right, we had the, the top and bottom sides were, were rectangles, right? See this rectangle here in red, and the bottom would have been a rectangle. Or the lateral sides, the lateral faces here, the left and right sides would have been rectangles as well. Over here on our still rectangular now pyramid, not prism, right, the lateral faces or the sides are all triangles. So that's kind of, instead of going up to another base, it goes up to a point. And so that affects uh, the formula for the volume is pretty similar. Here it would be a cylinder, right, at a volume of capital B times H, which is pi r squared, so this would have been 100 pi. Yikes. Times the height of 10. So you give me a thousand pi, All right? And so that would have been my volume here. Well, instead, if my base is the exact same circle, All right? Also with a radius of ten, All right? But now, instead of going up to another circle, it goes up to a point. This distance here is still 10, right? So it's the same as it was before, still 10. So it has the same height and the same base. But you'll notice that, you know, we lose volume over here and over here. So we actually lose one-third of the volume, one-third of the volume. We lose two-thirds of its volume. So the new formula for the one base or pointy shape, is that it's still going to be capital B times H, but it's only going to be one third as much. Or you could say capital B area of the base, so in this case area of the circle times the height and then divided by three. So times by third divided by three. Either one will give you any of the pyramid or cone formula. All right, so you have to identify what this is. This is a triangular pyramid. The base is a triangle down here, a six by four triangle. And then the height from uh, this down to, from the point down to the base is 12. A lot of times they might list it out to the side like this. And so the volume is one third area of the base times the height. So the triangle itself would be a triangle, six by four triangles, one half times 24 or 12, times the height of 12. So this would give me a volume of one third 12 times 12 is 48. And then we don't know, so it's units cubed, because it's a volume. 
All right, how about this one? Well, this is, what is this? This is a rectangular pyramid. All right, so it's still one-third area of the base times the height. The area of the base, the area of this rectangle is going to be 2x times x. Hopefully at this point you understand that that's 2x squared times the height of 12. And that's going to be one-third of 24 is 8x squared. So the volume of the volume of that would be eight x squared cubic units. All right. Last thing we'll say is all of these formulas. To figure out what these what these formulas stand for. All right. This one is volume of a well because it's one half v h times h. One third area of a triangle times height. This is a triangular pyramid. V equals one third pi r squared h. Obviously, pi r squared is circle, so this is a cone. One third pi r squared h is a cone. One third l w h. This is a rectangle. L w is length times width is for a rectangle, so this is one third l w h would be the volume of a rectangular pyramid. And V equals one third uh, S cubed, where would be uh, a square a square pyramid, and one third of that. But again, every one of those formulas is this. They all feed. They're all equal to this formula. So as is normal, I I want us to I want us to just know this formula: area of the base times the height divided by three. We don't need to memorize a separate formula for each one. Right? They're all the same. And the characteristic for all of these shapes is that they're one base solids. They don't have two bases, right? If you are unsophisticated, you can call them that they are a pointy shape. All right, thank you very much. Uh, namaste.